Hi, I'm John Skibo with the Arizona Consumer Law Group. And in this video, I'm going to share with you the mistake that 95% of people who get sued by a debt collector make that results in them losing their case altogether. But first, if this is your first time here to my YouTube channel, go ahead and click subscribe and check off the little bell there. That way you get notified as soon as I release a new video that can help you deal with serious debt problems. Okay, let's talk about debt collection lawsuits. 95% of the people who get sued by a debt collector make a mistake that's so big that they end up losing their case completely, a judgment gets entered, and then they face wage garnishment, bank levies, and all other kinds of problems. The mistake that 95% of the people make that get sued by a debt collector is they don't file a written response to the lawsuit. Now, in almost every state, once you get sued by a debt collector, you're going to get served with a complaint and a summons. And if you look at that summons, there's going to be some very specific information in there. In most states, they're going to require that you file a written response called an answer to the court within a certain time period. In most states, it's somewhere between 20 and 30 days. You need to read that summons very closely to make sure you know how many days it is that you have to file your written response. In some jurisdictions, you may be required just to show up to the court at a certain date and time, and that date and time may be located in the summons. I can tell you a lot of people I meet in my law practice, they tell me they get the summons and they're confused because they're expecting a specific court date. If your state's like mine, Arizona, where I practice law, there is no specific court date, but it does tell you you have to file a written answer within 20 days. So if you've been sued recently by a debt collector, the first thing you need to do, pull out your calendar, figure out how many days you have to respond by reading the summons, and then figure out when they dropped it off, when they served you with the complaint and the summons, and calculate that out and circle it. Put it in your phone. Do whatever you need to do to make sure that you don't miss that date. Because if you don't file an answer timely, in most jurisdictions, you've lost all ability then to dispute the allegations in that lawsuit. A default judgment is entered. And not only that, there's usually attorney's fees, court costs, and all other kinds of stuff piled on top of it. And that what could have been maybe a small judgment is actually now a quite a large judgment. Not only that, but you've lost all right to contest it at that point. You could have had defenses like the statute of limitations had expired, that they didn't have evidence to prove, that they're the actual owners of the debt, if it's a junk debt buyer case. Um, all these different things you could have raised or even potentially settled it with the creditor for quite a bit less. You've now waived all those and you have a judgment. And once a judgment's entered, it's really difficult to claw that thing back. So that 95% of people don't take that first step. And debt collectors know this. And that's why they can be a little sloppy with their paperwork because in most cases, they're not even in a situation where they have to, to prove anything because you as the consumer didn't fight back. So if you've been sued with by a debt collector, make sure you file that answer. I'm gonna put a link in the notes on a video tutorial I put together. It'll show you how to do it. Drafting the answer is probably the simplest part of defending a lawsuit. Even if you're representing yourself, you can generally draft the answer on your own. It gets a little more complicated as you go, but it'll at least buy you some time to determine how you want to approach the case. Do you wanna settle it? Do you wanna contest it? What is it you wanna to do to be able to fight back against this debt collector? So I hope that's helpful. Look at that summons, see how much longer you have to respond to it. Put it in your phone, set an alert, do whatever you need to do. And check out the course that I put together in the, in the, in the notes below this. It'll help you go step-by-step step through the whole process. Thanks for watching today.